In this Legend NOS Plus setup tutorial, I'm going to show you how to physically set up your device step by step while also showing you all the possible benefits and security features. Then I will show you how to set up your Ledger Live app the correct way and then connecting it to MetaMask to make transactions. So make sure to stick with me to the end for that. Now we're going to set up our Legend Nano S Plus device. So what you first need to do is plug in your USB cable to your computer and then open up your Legend Nano S Plus device and plug in the other end of the cable into it here like this. Now you can see your Ledger will start up and don't worry about the flickering on the screen. This is only happening because of the recording on the video. The actual device is fine. Now what you also need is this recovery sheet here. This is where we're going to record our 24 word seed phrase, which we're getting from our Ledger Nano S Plus device here. Now before we get started, you can see here there's two buttons on the Ledger Nano S Plus. The left is usually to go backwards, the right is to go forward, and if you press both of them at the same time usually means OK or continue. Now press right again. You can read all this, but I've explained to you how to use it already. But a good tip is if you hold both buttons at any time, it's going to take you to the settings. Now you're presented with two options to so either set up as new device or restore from recovery phrase. We're going to first set up as a new device. But if you want to restore it from a recovery phrase, and you can skip this step and go to the next part of the timestamp, which is where we set up from recovery phrase. So for now, we set up a new device. I'll click both buttons, choose the pin. Now you need to select your pin number between four and eight digits. I'll do that now. And for this example, I'm gonna do one, 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 one. So by clicking the left side, it's gonna go down in numbers and clicking the right side is gonna go up. And when you're happy with the number, double tap the button. If you're happy with your pin, then double tap again, and then you'll need to confirm the numbers one more time, and then confirm. Now this is a part where you need to write down your 24 word recovery phrase. Hit OK, double tapping it. Now let's start writing this down. Press both buttons to continue. You can see here, word number one is nature. So I would write it down here, hit next, to theme. Now don't bother trying to log in with these credentials and thinking that there'll be money in there. This wallet address is only set up for this tutorial and I won't be using it after this, that's for sure. And that's it. There's our 24 word seed phrase all written down and kept safe in this little sheet here. So make sure you store this somewhere safe and don't share it with anyone. This is very important so no one can get access to your wallet. However, you can feel free to share a like to this video. That's very safe, I promise. So after you've written everything down, you can click next and then press both buttons to continue. Now this is a painful step, but you'll need to do it. And that is to confirm all the 24 recovery phrase again. And you'll do this by comparing what's on the sheet to what's on your screen. So my first word is nature. So I'm going to have to right click until I find nature and then I'll double tap it. So we'll do this for 24 words now. Now, even though that's a painful step to go through, it's very important because it's going to confirm that what you've written down is correct so that if you need to recover it later, you can. Now let's go to the next step. Press both button to continue. And now you can see here, Ledger says your device is ready. So now we're ready to go into Ledger Live and set up our device. Now for this next step, I'm gonna show you how to recover your existing wallet with your 24 word phrase. But if you don't have an existing wallet to set up, then skip this section and go to the next step of the timestamp about the Ledger Live app. So to set up your wallet by recovering your existing seed phrase, you would select the option of restore from recover phrase and then double click. Now we would choose our pin again. So you would tap left until the right number comes up then double click and do the same thing for the rest. And once you're happy with it, press enter and re-enter in the confirmation pin again. Confirm. And now you would have to enter in all 24 of your recovery phrase. 
But for the start, you'd have to do it letter by letter. So my first word is nature. So I'd have to spell that out. And then it gives you a clue. And then double click and select the one that's correct. You would do this for all 24 words. So a big takeaway from this long but necessary step is that you must write down your seed phrase correctly, letter by letter, so you don't make a mistake when you're recovering your wallet address here. And there it is. Once the 24 words have been entered in, your device is ready to go again, and we can move on to the next step. The next step is to install our Ledger Live app, and we can do that by going to ledger.com slash start. Then you would click on download and select the machine that you're using. In this case, I'm using Windows, so I'm gonna click that. Then you'll download it, and once it is ready, we'll open it up, and then we'll click on install and complete the installation process. And here is our welcome page, and we would click on get started, agree to their terms and privacy policy, then enter the Ledger app. Now you can choose the device that you've purchased, but in this tutorial, I have the Ledger Nano S Plus, so I'm gonna click here. Now here are the different ways of accessing your Ledger device. You can set up as a new device, or if you've already set up the device with the previous step with me, or have a recovery sheet, then you can click on these two options. So in this case, we'll click on connect your Nano S Plus. Now click on continue. Now we would plug in our Ledger device, enter in our pin code, and now click on check my nano. Now we would allow the ledger manager by double tapping. And there it is, our ledger nano S plus is a genuine version. Now we can click on continue, click continue again. And now we can see the ledger live dashboard. Now before we do anything further, we need to first update our ledger live software and the software on our ledger device. So you can do that by going to manager and then click on update firmware. Agree that you have your recovery phrase saved, which I showed you previously to write it down. Now we click on continue, and now it's going to download the update and install it onto our Ledger Nano S Plus device. Now we would double tap our Ledger device. Now we would scroll down to the confirmation update page and double tap on it, on our device. Re-enter in our pin code. And now it shows that our firmware has been updated. Now the next thing to check is if our Ledger Live is the most up-to-date version. And you can do that by going to Settings, and then going to the About section, and then check this version and click on Details. So we already have the latest version, but if you need to update, you can come here. So a potential problem that can occur with these Ledger devices is that if you don't update them for months, and you've missed a few updates on the software, it may cause your Ledger not to update properly, and you have to reinstall the whole device. So to stop this problem from happening, I recommend you at least update your software once every month or two. And the next very important thing is the security feature on the Ledger Live app. And if you go to general, you must make sure that this password lock is turned on. We'll turn that on. This is very important to keep your account safe. And also you should have your auto lock settings turned on and it's default at 10 minutes, which is fine. So this means that every time you open your Ledger Live app, you need to enter in your password, and if you stop using it after 10 minutes, it's gonna auto lock your account. This is a must have settings to keep your account safe. Now we're ready to move on to the next step, and that is to add our crypto coins to our wallet. So you can do that by going back to manager, and here you can pick the cryptocurrencies you want to add. There's a big list here, but in this example, I'm just gonna do Bitcoin and Ethereum for now. So now we click on install, let it load. And once it's finished, we can go to our portfolio section and we're ready to create and add our crypto wallet account. So I'm gonna do an example on Bitcoin by clicking on add account and then selecting my crypto asset to be Bitcoin, click continue, double tap on opening the Bitcoin app on my ledger device. Now you can see that I can either add an existing account or a new account. So my wallet has already been used before, so it's gonna give me both options. But if you're starting a new wallet, then you'll be adding a new account here. So I'm gonna use my existing one for this example. Click on add account, click done. 
The next step is to send and receive crypto to your wallet. Now we're gonna start by receiving some Bitcoin into this wallet here. So to do that, you would click on receive, select the wallet, click continue, and then click copy. Confirm the address on your ledger device and click approve, go to done. And now we would go to our source. In this case, I'm gonna use FTX. FTX is my favorite crypto exchange as they have the best fee and are one of the most trusted crypto exchanges in the world. So if you don't have an exchange yet, I recommend you use FTX and you can use my link here to sign up and it will save you a percentage on all your transaction fees. So go ahead and do that if you don't have an account. If you have an account already, then you would simply go to your balance, choose Bitcoin, click on withdraw, enter in the amount you want and in the BTC address section, you'd paste in the address that you copied from our Ledger Live app previously. Enter in the two-factor authentication code and then confirm everything. If you're happy, click on withdraw. And now we can go back to our Ledger Live app and give it a few minutes for our total amount to update. And there it is. You can see our 0.0001 Bitcoin has just arrived into our account. So that's the receiving part done. Now, if you want to send Bitcoin out of our Ledger wallet, you would go to send here, select your wallet, enter the Bitcoin address. And in this case, I'm going to copy the FTX Bitcoin address and then I would paste it into here. Click on continue. Now we first need to select the amount we want to send. We can choose an amount or we can click on send the maximum amount. Then next, you would choose the fee you want to pay. So obviously there's slow, medium and fast and you can see here the difference, 49 cents, 46, 43. If you're in a rush, then go for fast, if you're not, go for slow. That's my recommendation. And you'd click on continue, to continue one more time and now you would review your transaction on your ledger device, tapping next, 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 all the way to approve and if you're happy with that, then just double tap and that's it. But if you've made a mistake, you can also cancel it by right tapping here and then rejecting it by double tapping. Next, I want to show you how to connect your Ledger device to MetaMask. And you can do this by going to MetaMask. But if you don't have a MetaMask wallet set up yet, then you can go to metamask.io and download the app from there. But if you need more help on setting up your MetaMask account, then you can check out this video here and the link will be in the description for you as well. But in this tutorial, I'm going to assume that you've already got MetaMask set up. And if you've done that, you can simply go to your MetaMask extension here, and then click on this three dots and click on expand view. This will open a whole new page for you to be able to do things much easier. So now let's add our Ledger device by clicking here and then click connect hardware wallet. Select Ledger and make sure that you select Ethereum on your device here for your device to sync properly. Now click on continue. Select Nano S Plus, click connect. Now you can see here there's different accounts from our Ledger device that you can connect to MetaMask. But I'm going to do the one that I've already used before. And now you click on unlock. And you can see I have 0.0494 Matic. This is because I'm on the Polygon chain, not the Ethereum mainnet. But it doesn't really matter because it works exactly the same way. Now I'm first going to show you how to receive crypto into our Ledger wallet. So you can copy the address here and then go to a different wallet. And now we want to send some Matic to our Ledger device. And you would paste in the Ledger device address here and select the amount. I'll just do 0.1, click next, check your gas fees. If you need to change that, you can click on edit. Otherwise, click confirm. Now we will go back to our Ledger device. Give it a few seconds for the transaction to complete and for your funds to arrive. And there it is. The Matic chain is very quick and our funds are here already. So the next thing we want to do is to send crypto out of our ledger wallet. We'll go and copy an address we want to send to, in this case, my original address, back to our ledger again, click on send, paste in the address we want to send to. And now I'm going to send back 0.1 again, click next, confirm your gas fees then click confirm. And now on our ledger device, we have to review the transaction by tapping right and confirming the amount and the address and the network and your fee. And if you accept all that, then double tap the accept button. And now you will see 0.1 plus some gas fee leave our account. 
There it is, it's gone now. And back to the original wallet, there's our point one added. This is very easy to do if you follow my tutorial step by step. Now the next thing I wanna show you quickly about the Ledger Live app is that you can interact with DeFi straight on their app. And you can do that by clicking on discover and then choose the app that you wanna work with. For example, this time, if I wanna swap some cryptocurrency, instead of going on the one inch website, I can click one inch and do this exchange right on the Ledger Live app. Now, if you want more information on this Ledger Nano S Plus, then I recommend you check out this next video here where I do an in-depth review on the product. But if you're looking for an alternative hardware wallet, then this is the video where I recommend the best wallet for you. So check it out and I'll see you over in the next tutorial.